You know, and sports is a big problem. And I, I thank God that most people in this church, sports is not a problem. But, uh, you know, you guys ever seen those man on the street interviews? We go around and ask people stuff. Yeah. I wonder, here in a month or two, three months, if we go downtown Jacksonville, when they're having the Jaguars stadium full, if we go around asking people, real simple question, hey, Jaguars or Jesus, what's your answer? Wow. I wonder how many people would choose Jaguars over Jesus. Listen, I've already knocked doors in Jacksonville. Hey, I can't go. The football's on. Yeah. You've yeah. chosen Jaguars over Jesus. Yeah. Well, you, do the same, you could do the same thing with the Cowboys, right? Well, the Cowboys or Christ, what's it going to be? Well, well, I've always been a Cowboys fan. Yeah, Cowboys or Christ, what are you going to follow? What are you going to serve? What are you going to focus? What are you going to learn? Jaguars or Jesus? Jacksonville needs to get rid of the Jaguars. They need Jesus. Yeah. They need to decide. There are too many Baptists in Jacksonville that are following the Jaguars. They know all the stats. They know all the team members. They know the cheerleaders' names. That are grown adults collecting sports cards, playing games in fantasy football, and they won't read their Bible. Jacksonville, Florida needs to get rid of the Jaguars and follow Jesus Christ. Amen. There are Christians that are saved that will have no reward in heaven because they're holding things Back. They're letting everything else hold them back. They're letting sports be their God. And it's wicked as hell. Don't, don't be caught up with anything. Daniel had a spirit of excellence. Do you think he cared about the sports? Do you think he cared about the entertainment of his time? He could care less 